About 300 elite soldiers are hunting down Taliban commanders one by one and taking them out. Very little is known about their mission and even their identities are secret. Two months ago, the Australian Special Forces gave a rare press briefing to talk about the merits of their kill capture program. Removing key insurgent leaders and or disrupting their ability to coordinate attacks against coalition partners is absolutely necessary. We know these insurgent leaders are coordinating and supplying fighters with weapons, funds and the lethal IDs that are indiscriminately killing and maiming local civilians and coalition forces alike. I can tell you from high side intelligence or from you know, high levels of intelligence that there is a level of frustration amongst the insurgents uh, in Rizgan in particular at how successful our operations have been. Back in southern Kandahar, the 10th Mountain troops on the front line are not so sure that kill capture missions are the answer either. If you have the intelligence to go after a key leader and you know where he's at and you have that high confidence, then you should, by all, all means, you should raid that. But he will be replaced. And we've been raiding the enemy for 10 years here. Available now on Video On Demand.